In this video, I show a simple way to power self-winding clock company clocks. Almost all self-winding clock company clocks run on 3 volts DC. The motors automatically rewound after running for 60 minutes. This is an image of Western Union clocks made by the self-winding clock company of New York. Western Union rented these types of clocks for their time service customers. These types of clocks appeared in the 1930s and were in service until the 1960s. These clocks all have metal cases and the cases were either round or square and came with a 16 or 12 inch dial. A lesser number of the more elegant clocks were made with wood cases but they also had metal backs. Western Union rented these clocks for $1.50 a month. This is a smaller version of the metal case Naval Observatory clocks. It has a 12 inch dial and is about 15 inches in diameter. I've removed the case and now the hands and dial are removed revealing the style F movement made by the self-winding clock company. Notice how large the original types of dry cell batteries were and how they're held in their battery holders. The batteries were connected in series via the wiring harness across the top of the case to provide the 3 volts DC needed to rewind the mainspring each hour. These dry cell batteries are difficult to find and expensive. So now comes the simple solution. Just use two D cell batteries connected in series. This will work perfectly. Here's the same clock with a two D cell battery pack in the case providing the 3 volts needed to rewind. The 2D cells typically will power the clock for at least one year. Western Union service people actually replace these dry cells each year. The plastic holders can be found on the internet. The power is connected to the two terminals on the movement. Polarity is not important but self-winding shows the positive to the top or switch terminal and the negative to the bottom or the coil terminal. This image shows how the power is connected. When a synchronizer is present, there's an extra wire on each terminal. The extra wire in each terminal is to power the signal light when the synchronizer is energized. An additional wire on the switch terminal goes to the wind tab to manually energize the wind motor to rewind the mainspring. When first powering the movement, it may be necessary to hold the tab, wind tab down for 15 or 20 seconds to wind the mainspring. Once fully wound, the movement will rewind each 60 minutes. Several other types of self-winding clocks are pictured here. These clocks also ran on 3 volts DC and were originally powered by those two large dry cell batteries. Now they wind beautifully with a simple series connected pack of D cell batteries. Thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful.